don't you read a little bit from the intro? I think that would be okay. appropriate. Yeah. yeah, I could read from the intro. From the preface? Yeah. Where's my camera? <clears throat> I don't know if this will take quite eight minutes. We may have to keep No, talking, no, no, just a few uh, minutes. I'll just a couple. And we'll One get back to talking. All right. One thing Yvette will always tell you is that it's never like it is in the stories. Then he'll tell you his. We convened at the White Horse Tavern under the glum and bleary eyes of Dylan Thomas, Norman Mailer, and Jack Kerouac. It was a warm March day, not spring yet, but with winter fading. Eight years and change since we'd invaded Iraq. Afghanistan loomed shadowy behind that, then 9-11, then the Cold War, Vietnam, Korea, World War II, Pickett's Charge, the Battle of Austerlitz, the conquest of New Spain, Agincourt, Thermopylae, and the rage of Achilles. Stories upon stories, stories of war. We had our own stories to tell, and in each other had found just the right audience to test the telling. There'd be no BSing, yet we shared among us a subtle understanding that the real truth might never make it on the page. We each knew the problem we all together struggled with, which was how to say something true about an experience unreal to a people fed and wadded about with lies. As Joseph Conrad's Marlowe put it, somewhere in another war on terror, do you see the story? Do you see anything? It seems to me I'm trying to tell you a dream, making a vain attempt, because no relation of a dream can convey the dream sensation, that commingling of absurdity, surprise, and bewilderment in a tremor of struggling revolt, the notion of being captured by the incredible, which is the very essence of dreams. There's always that wobble in war between romance and vision, between reality and imagination, between propaganda and what you lean on to survive. Each story has one ending, the same ending, and it can come sudden, silent, unseen, the street blows up under your feet or a sniper gets lucky, who knows? Meanwhile, home is a place you lived once, a different person, a different life, and all the people you loved somehow alien. You come to depend on the hard matter of things, because what's real so quickly goes up in smoke. How do you put that on a page? How do we tell you? How do we capture the totality of the thing in just a handful of words? How do we make something whole from just fragments? We all came from different places and had different wars, but we share a common set of concerns. Good whiskey, great writing, and the challenges and possibilities of making art out of war, and the funny gray zone we found ourselves in, where you shape truths out of fiction pulled out of truth, which might only be the illusion of truth in the first place. We made a date for the White Horse Tavern, where this anthology took root. Over the next year, we collected stories, soliciting, nurturing, pruning, trying to put together something we could feel proud of, something if not representative, at least vivid enough to inscribe on the wars our mark our signature. Truth, truthiness, in this mass media cacophony we live in comes up something for grabs. Well, here's some. Grab it. We were there. This is what we saw. This is how it felt. And we're here to say, it's not like you heard in the stories. Now that is very good writing. Thanks, Joe. Did you, both of you come up with a preface? R R that Roy wrote the preface. Very for, nice for the group. Thanks. Very very nice. Yeah. Flows very nicely. It. it explains things. Uh, it's so cool to have this little collection. Have you ever heard of other uh, collections like this, or is this a first? This is the first. This is the first collection of uh, literary fiction by veterans from these wars. That's really extraordinary. Uh, we think so. We think so. There have been there have been some other. Uh, collections of veterans' writings, right, such as which I would Operation imagine. Homecoming and, mm -hmm. and other things, poetry and nonfiction and, and different kinds of pieces. But this is the first, first collection of short stories. And, and, and you know, I, I think we were partly, I think, inspired by, by the past of, of, of seeing um, uh, veteran writers from, from previous wars, uh, be it the British poets or, or, or uh, the uh, Vietnam writers when they first got back, mm -hmm. uh, sharing their writing and getting better and refining each other's writing uh, together uh, and, and, and 
realizing that, that if we wanted to uh, uh, reach our goals and, and, and become the writers that we all felt we were capable of, we needed each other to be able to do that. Right. 